Shalawam, Wathawada, Yahweh Basham, Shai Basham, Rakakudash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through their men, starting with the Apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit, who are worthy of double honors, and Yahweh Basham, Shai Basham, Rakakudash, Brakatham, to the 144,000 servants of Yahweh Basham, Shai, and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. And as you can see here, the verse of the day is Romans chapter 12 and verse 12, which the book of Romans was really um, a letter, an epistle by the Apostle Paul to the Israelites that were living in Rome, Italy, because even back then, over 2000 years ago, you had our people, the Hebrew Israelites that were scattered amongst the nations, you know, throughout the known world back then primarily out there in um, Asia Minor okay and it was the Apostle Paul's office if you will to um, bring back the Israelite foreigners the Israelites that were in a Gentile state of mind back to their true nationality and back to the understanding of Yahweh why Yahweh Shai being our Lord and Saviour okay which is pretty much reminiscent of what the apostles, the bishops, the elders, and the men of Great Millstone and like-minded righteous Israelite men are doing in these last days concerning our people, right? Bringing you back to this truth, man, through the Holy Spirit, through the power, the glory, and the mercy of Yahweh Bashma Shai. But anyway, you know, we're going to deal with this very briefly because as I'm looking at this verse, you know, the apostle Paul is saying a lot in very few words which brings us to the term of um, Olcom's razor right which that's what I believe Olcom's razor means it means to say a lot in very few words so this is Romans 12 and verse 12 it says rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation continuing instant in prayer and the apostle Paul is saying a lot but in very few words because to begin with starting with rejoicing in hope well this is the spirit that those of us that's within this truth right you brothers and certain of you sisters that are in the spirit of your Bashmel Shai well this is the spirit that we ought to be in rejoicing right there's a lot of things to rejoice about right now you know concerning the downfall of our enemies primarily Esau Edom rejoicing in the fact that you know, we've been brought back to our true nationality that we have this understanding, this wisdom, this knowledge you know, through Yahweh Bashmah Rashai via his servants, the prophets and rejoicing in hope okay, in the hope that you know, we're going to be delivered upon Yahweh Shai's return you know, when he comes back to gather his elect from the four winds of the earth as it's written in Matthew 24 and verse 31 and that's our main hope you know, to be of the elect those of us brothers that's you know a part of this ministry we're hoping to be <laughs> of the 144,000 servants man you know that's my hope and I'm sure that's the hope of you you know you sincere brothers that are sincerely serving you have Bash man you know the 144,000 the top cabinet the government that's going to rule you know the coming kingdom with our lord you have a share you know, pursuant to Revelation 7, Revelation 14. You've got Isaiah 9, where it speaks about the government of our Lord shall be on the shoulders, roughly paraphrasing, of Yahweh Shai, man. And what you know, we're hoping to be a part of that government, man. Okay, the reason to say patient in tribulation, because that's what's coming. Okay, the time of Jacob's trouble. We read about that in the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Daniel 12 verse 1 um, 2nd Ezra 15 2nd Ezra 16 you know we're coming into a time where there's going to be great tribulation upon our people the Israelites hence Jacob's trouble okay a time like never before where all hell is going to break loose in the society and you know the majority of our people are going to be destroyed for not being obedient unto Yahweh Bashem Shai and his voice that's coming through his servants to prophets and we have to be patient okay which reminds us of what our Lord said 
when we go to what's that? Revelation 2, verse 10. Yahweh Shai said, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, and we're doing that, you know, by doing our Lord's will, you know, keeping his commandments to the best of our ability, rehearsing the righteous acts. Those of us brothers that have been called to serve in Yahweh Bashmah Shai's ministry. You know, we're going out there diligently, week in, week out, to prophesy the downfall of Esau's kingdom. You know, we're doing these lessons throughout the week, which requires a high level of patience, you know, doing all those things in such a wicked society, in which the word patience means to suffer. Okay, and you know, those of us that are sincerely serving you have much mouth shy in this truth, we're suffering. We're, we're being patient, man. You know, patiently waiting for Yahweh Bashmah Shah to destroy this kingdom and deliver the elect. So we're keeping our Lord's patience. Okay. Yahweh Shah said, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them. All right, upon the earth. And we know what that's speaking about. That's going into the time that we're coming into The hour of temptation concerning Esau Fully bringing about his new world order Okay His great reset His fourth industrial revolution Whereby this whole society is going to change Okay And at the helm of this society Is going to be the implantable microchip Which is the mark of the beast Pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16 you know, verses 17 and 18. So we're coming into a time of great tribulation where our faith is going to be tested. Okay, our faith is going to be tried. Whether we're going to serve our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashmah or Shai, or whether we're going to join onto Esau's beast system by way of that chip in order to survive. Okay, so we're hoping that Yahweh Bashmah Shai gives us the, the Holy Spirit to endure. Okay, to endure until the very end Because that's what Yahweh Shai said He said um, He that endureth until the end The same shall be saved you know, So that's our hope We're rejoicing in that hope Okay, Rejoicing in the fact that Yahweh Bashmah Shai Will deliver us if we endure Okay, And it goes on to say Continuing instant in prayer And what are we praying for? More faith more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding. We're praying the prayer of our forefather, King David, Psalms 51. Yeah, Psalms 51, verse 11. We're praying that Yahweh Bashmah Shai doesn't take his Holy Spirit away from us, man. You know, these are the things that we ought to be praying for continually, non stop, as is written in what's that? First um, Thessalonians 5, verse 17. And when you pray, you know, you're, you're, you're really begging. The word pray means to beg. I believe from the Latin, procari. You know, it means to beg. And we're begging unto Yahweh Bashmah Hashai that he keeps his Holy Spirit upon us and that he delivers us, you know, in these last days. So again, the verse of the day, Romans 12, verse 12. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, Tribulation meaning trouble because we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble. Pursuant to Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Continuing instant in prayer. And this is why it's very important to know the true name of our Heavenly Father and His Son. Which the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And those are the names that you need to pray unto. Right, that's a message to you Israelites that are newly coming into the faith, the ministry. Okay. So anyway, that's why I'm going to end this lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom.